Live again. We're on TikTok live again. I can't believe we're on TikTok live again. I actually can't believe it. It's totally believable. Actually. Actually, totally believable. All right. Let's do it. What do we got going on? Add your live goal. I have, I have no live goal. I have no live goal besides roasting all of you lovely people who peruse my TikTok. That's right, I'm a comedian and comment and I will roast you. That is how I do my show. I run my show every day. We're gonna be on here for an hour. We'll see, who's the first? All right, we got it, one coming in. All right, I gotta, I gotta stretch my fingers here. All right, Clemmy, if that is your real name, I'm doubtful. Let's see here, Clemmy. Mitski, Melanie Martinez, Therian, whatever that smiley face is. Is your profile picture like Tom Sawyer if he was a furry? Like, what is this? I'm looking at your profile picture, Clemmy. It looks like a very beautifully drawn piece of art because I'm sure you probably drew it. And it looks nice, very hand drawn. But also, I'm just confused by what it is and why your profile picture has one eye. Um, I, uh, generally, good profile pictures have more than one eye. So, uh, hey, you know, that's, that's, but hey, good for you. Good for you. You're a good artist. You're a good artist. Do do do. Next. Hey man, love the content. Don't need a roast though. Life just had to me enough. Oh, thanks man. Thanks man. I appreciate it. Caden, thanks for sharing the live guys. Any donations you guys send to me, I'll jump you up to the top of the list and, uh, and, uh, any, any shares. I also really, really appreciate you guys. Help me keep my lights on. Uh, let's see, Caden, you shared my live, so I'll roast you. What the Sigma man swimmer? Well, dude, Sigmas don't swim. You got to know that, bro. Sigmas are in the gym pumping iron, bro. Pumping iron, man. That's what they're doing. They're doing bicep curls with the easy curl bar, bro. They're not out here in a swim cap, just, you know, doggy paddling and breast stroking through the water. That's not what a Sigma does. So I don't know. Perhaps you should get that, you know, perhaps you should get that sorted. And that way your son, your baby boy, who is screaming at the camera won't scream at you anymore because he'll be like, oh, dad's a, dad's a G, dad's a gangster. He doesn't need to, you know, he's, he's, out, he's not swimming, he's lifting now, which is nice. Let's see here. Oh, thanks for the follow, guys. You guys are cool. Much appreciated. All right. Ba -da -doom, doom, do 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 do. All right. <laughs> I'm coming in as quick as I can, guys. All right, Kaylee. Kaylee, Kaylee, Kaylee. A 26 year old lame. A money sign, money sign. Aquarius text. Let's let's vibe. And she has a peace sign up. You know, I feel like like a peace sign is that like let's vibe, brother. Don't worry, Kaylee. I'll go to Burning Man with you, and then be really worried about you for the entire week when you just wander off because you catch a vibe in the desert somewhere, which is exactly what you would do with your peace sign in the desert. I can see it now. I would never go to Burning Man with you, Kaylee. I would never do that. You know why I would never do that, Kaylee? I would never do that because you would catch a vibe and you would end up on the top of the Burning Man statue and we would need to call an ambulance to the middle of the Mojave Desert to get you down. So I wouldn't do that, Kaylee. I wouldn't do that. Mm. Let's see who's next. Lily. Lily, Lily, Lily. Mm. Lily, I, I can't tell if you live in the woods or you just thought it would be funny to make your profile picture living in the woods. Lil Faith 13. Oh, I appreciate that. Did you send me? I think you sent me a donation. That's really nice if you did that. Much appreciate that, top gifter. All right, Lily, let's see what I can do. I got a really, you get to get a full, all you guys get a full view of my hairline. Oh, cowboy hat. Let's go. All right. <laughs> uh, I got to go quick. I got to go quick. The donations are starting to come in. All right, Lily. Uh, <laughs> Lily, whenever you, you take a picture, just make sure it's not in a sundress and under an oak tree. People are going to have questions like, why is this fairy nymph in the woods? That's not good. That is not good. All right, who else is next? Mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> TikToker. All right, let me roast TikToker because that means something. I appreciate the cowboy hat though. Uh, let's see here. Tick, tick talker. Uh, two follows, 18 following. TikToker. <sighs> The Big Bohica, the Big Bohica, however it is you pronounce your name. Um, I'm confused as to why you've got a coach of the Texas Longhorns as your profile picture when that is not you. No matter how much you dream, no matter how much you role play in your mind about what it would be like if you could control that team. If you had just that strong starting line and a strong defense, what could you do? 
I say D, you say fence. D, fence. D, fence. Longhorns. As much as you think about that TikToker or the big Bohica, maybe it's a good idea that you don't coach football. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you'd be a good football coach. I say you start with fantasy, and then when you get more than two followers, you move on to a bigger and better uh, future. That's what I think. That's what I think. Mm, thanks for sharing the live, guys. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate that. I also genuinely really appreciate the donations. As a comedian, I have to pay money to do open mic nights, right? Like I have to pay money. I have to pay $5 to do five minutes on stage to work on my material. So one of the reasons I do this uh, live every day, I live stream every day, and I go for an hour. Usually I do 11 p.m. Pacific time every day, but my friend's birthday party is tonight, which is why I'm dressed oh so fancy in a collared shirt with a watch. That's why I'm dressed like this. So I'm going live right now. But uh, all the donations, that really, really helps me, guys. So thank you so much. All right, moving on to the comments. Let's see here. Uh, oh, Happy Mia. Thanks, Mia. I appreciate you. Let's, let's, get, let's get down here. Let's see what, what's going on with Happy Mia. Let's see if we can't make Happy Mia sad, Mia, shall we? Uh, <laughs> Mia, I feel like the reason you're Happy Mia and not Sad Mia is because of what you say in your bio, which is life goes on. Like, hey, you know, I, I crashed that car, but life goes on. Hey, you know, I, 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 failed my, I failed my entrance exam to college, but hey, life goes on. Hey, you know, I planned that birthday party, and then uh, someone ruined it. That bitch Jenny, she ruined it when I was trying to do a surprise party for my friend Sarah. But you know what? Life goes on. And I think that's a happy attitude to take, but at the same time, you got to start to think, man, I wonder if, like, life just sucks right now. But then again, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, happy Mia. You do look very happy. You look like you're smiling, and that's nice. Keep the smile up. Life does go on. Tennyson is back. He's back with the raccoon hat. Good to see you, Tennyson. Good to see you. Let's see here. <laughs> Tennyson, you're the best, man. I <laughs> really appreciate that. Ah, book a case. He's number one gifter now. Hell yeah, Tennyson. Uh, book a cameo. I hope people have actually started booking your cameo, man. That's what I, that's what I hope for. I hope you're just wearing that raccoon on your head. You're getting that raccoon face hug from your hat and you're just out there sending joy and positivity to people out in, in, the, in the snowy mountains of Wyoming. That's what I hope you're doing. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you want me to roast you, bro. I did yesterday. T Tennyson's back. Tennyson's back. He was here yesterday. Mm, Valerie, Valerie, Valerie. All right, Valerie, I'm gonna snag you from the comments real quick. I'm in recovery. Blessed with four sons, four daughter in loves, four grands, half do. Why? <laughs> when you say half do, like there's a lot of fractions going on, Valerie, and I'm a little confused. Like, you're, <laughs> Tennyson, you're the best man. I appreciate it. Thanks for all the donations, man. Valerie, I'm, I'm a little confused as to why you're Tennyson. I think I'm going to bring you on here if that's all right with you. I'll send you, I'll, I'll invite you in in a minute. We'll do like a split screen. I'm roasting Valerie right now. But Valerie, a lot of fractions going on in this bio, uh, many of which I'm confused by. Number one, what does half do? Like if you're talking about your four grandkids, how can half of a baby be due, Valerie? I'm actually starting to get very concerned. If half of a baby is due, when is the other half due, Valerie? And how would you plan that? That makes no sense. And also, if it's due February 25th, if your grandchild is due February 25th, like why are you telling people? Are you gonna live stream the birth of your grandchildren? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. We'll see, won't we? Won't we? Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks for the follow, guys. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. Let's see here. Uh. All right, let's see here. Let's see here, of course. But let me go live real quick. All right, Tennyson, I'll see you in a second. Let me invite you on here. Boom. I think I just did it. I sent the invitation, Tennyson. I'm still figuring out TikTok Live. This is only literally my fifth day of doing this. Wait, today's Saturday. Sixth day of doing this. But hey, I'm, I'm, I'm giving... On. That's my hope. Akira! Akira, Akira! Akira, Akira, Akira! I wish I, could, I knew how to, like... I wish I could, like, beatbox your name, bro. Ah, Akira. All right, bro. Hold on, Akira. I gotta roast Akira. What's up, Tennyson? What up, Parker? How we doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Hold on, I gotta roast this guy real quick. He sent me a really nice gift. Akira no Tea Leaf. 
more like Akira T, leave this live stream forever with you and your seven <laughs> followers. No, that, that means nothing. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't know. Why did you choose purple for your skin color? I don't understand. Akira, I appreciate the, the sneaky, sneaky gnome uh, donation. That's my favorite one to get. What's up, Tennyson? You're wearing the hat. Yeah, I had to put on the hat. I had to put on the hat today. Uh, I decided, I was like, you know what, since we're going live, might as well just bear the hat today. Might as well do it, man. I appreciate all the gifts and support and everything, bro. I'm like, oh, yeah. we talked yesterday. I'm, I'm still so new to doing this, so I, I, I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. It's it's such a, it's a fun thing. I, I remember when I started doing, like, content creation and I, like, I started really, like, I got to turn on my AC now. Like, this hat's, like... <laughs> Radiating heat. It's like Chernobyl in this. Bro, that's why you like, shouldn't have killed that raccoon. You shouldn't have killed that raccoon in his family. You wouldn't have had to have yeah. it. All right. All right. Light light roasting of the raccoon hat. But that, anyway. that raccoon that raccoon is uh, his family. Mm -hmm. It's out to get me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What did tell tell everyone what you do though? What what do you do? You said you have cameo in your bio, so what do you do? You you have a pretty successful TikTok account? Um so okay. Cameo, unfortunately I don't really do cameo much anymore. Uh cameo kinda <laughs> Um, I need to change that bio, but I'm a I'm a I'm just a college student at the moment. Content creation has been something I've loved ever since I was a kid. I used to do YouTube a while back, that didn't really go anywhere. Instagram, I tried to, that didn't really go anywhere. And then I moved to TikTok. I made a few videos that I was not expecting to blow up. One hit 5.2 million, another hit 4.7, and another hit 2.3, and that's what shot me up to 20k. Hell yeah! Uh, and I've just stayed consistent past then. I'm a college student. I go to the University of Wyoming. That's where the hat comes from. Oh yeah, uh, I'm a clinical psych major, um, but I love content creation and everything that goes along with it. I do content creation for my job. I do social media for my school. Like it's, that's it's cool, just, man. So you're you're out here making your dreams happen. That that's cool, man. That's that's cool. And especially being out, like a lot of people think you have to move to a city. Like I'm in LA to do it. If any of you guys are watching this, you want to do it, just do it. Tennyson's okay. in Wyoming. Why not? You know, make it happen. Like I admire that. I think that's cool. Yeah, and it's cool. I grew up in a I grew up in a bigger town. I grew up in Denver, um, so I did grow up in a bigger town, which it was really hard to do. But um, <laughs> finding finding like Wyoming and it's 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 everything in Wyoming has been such a it's 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 a culture shock. Really, you walk up there and you see a bunch of howdy cowboys, and in a very confined space, there's more windmills than there are people, um, which is absolutely oh, yeah. insane. But oh, yeah. It's, it's just through it's Wyoming. I've seen the wind mills. I know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, and and the it, it it's okay though. The wind is great. We get negative forty degree wind chill. Makes you feel like you want to die when you walk outside. But yeah, man, that's why I, I left Indiana. I can't stand that. I can't stand uh, it. Tennyson, at some point we should do. Uh, I got my TikTok guy is telling me uh, battles. Battles is a thing. So I have to hit you up. We should do like a battle or something. That'd be fun sometime. We could do, we could do one right now. Uh, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay, we're starting a match. All right, hell yeah! I have no idea what what this is or how to even do this. Uh, here, <laughs> how are it. you already winning? What? Because I never stop. Because the people love me, Tennyson. It's because my chest no is way. out. They like the chest. That's why. I don't know. Come on, for the know. hat, for the hat, for the hat. Come on, <laughs> for the hat. Tap the screen, guys. Tap the screen, y'all. Come on. So 16. basically, oh. here we go. Uh, how about it? Here, 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 <laughs> here, you're the best. Here you're the best. So this is how a battle works. People just donate roses, and it's like here, here, no, here we go, here we go, here we go. To be honest, battles is just an easy way to earn gifts. Oh, um, that's nice. It's a more interactive way, so your audience can interact with you, yeah, and you can get those gifts up, and people get people get um, uh, it's called MVP, like MVP gifts as well, oh, so they can okay. get a stunning card. For example, I got MVP on a few gifting battles, and they gave me like a stunning card, something like that. So people can gift to you, and you get higher up as you go. No one's currently, no one's, I'm not winning right now, but it's okay. It's all right. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing either, either, man. Uh, and everyone, and everyone, did, 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 Grady says, "Did your mom cut your hair?" No, my mom's genetics cut my hair, bro. <laughs> That's why this is yeah, what it is. I, but, I got you, bro. Same here. Same, same here. Thing. Yeah, same thing. Exactly. 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 Uh, <laughs> So now funny. you get two times the points. So okay. let's say somebody gifts you, you get two times that. And someone asked in the comments, are we not roasting? Uh, no, guys, I'm in a fucking master class right now with Tennyson who's teaching me how to battle. That's what we're doing right now. In three and a half minutes, we'll go back to roasting. But for right now, I'm in the heat of battle. I'm, I'm, I'm like General Custard on a hill. It's the last stand, and we're going in. And we're going in. Uh, let's see. Let's see. How about I roast some people in the comments? Let's see. Katie, Katie Brennan. 
Katie Brennan, not a joke. <laughs> your shoulder looks like a joke, Katie Brennan. I don't understand your shoulder. You have you have displayed it to the profile picture. Like you you've put it first. Like, hey, this is my best feature. It's my shoulder. You look buff though. I don't know if she's working out what the deal is, but hey, we got the obligatory mirror selfie, not at all basic white girl. That's pretty good. Uh, Be careful. She Hulk might beat your ass. She might. That's not good. That's not good. Hey, Mask Goblin. Mask Goblin is back. Let's go, Jeff. Jeff's my boy, man. Jeff, Jeff, me and Jeff hung out the other day. I brought him on. Look. Jeff's got a kick ass motorcycle that I hope he gets fixed very, very soon. But yeah. All right. So this is it. This is it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. I kind of feel bad. Like this is my first battle and it's just like, oh yeah, I'm learning how to battle. <laughs> no, this is, this is, this is perfectly fine. It, it's, it's hard because I, I, as I said last night, I'm more of a video content creator live. So I feel like there's a distinct difference between video content creators and live content creators. I have a few friends who do the same thing. Um, right. Live content creators set, set up certain schedules, their TikTok management, goes within the live stream categories and they will set up their schedule so their viewers know when they're going to vote. Something gotcha. I would recommend doing if you want to go live, I've, I've learned this in the past, post a video 30 minutes before you go live, talking okay. about what you're going to be doing on your live stream, kind of kind of like wrote, like make a little skit or something like that. Oh, hold on Tennyson, oh. Jeff, Jeff, thank you man. <laughs> Jeff's donated me a lot, he's, he's a cool guy. Anyway, sorry, you were saying? You're all good. Um, if you post a video 30 minutes before you go live, it'll hit the for you page. People will look at it and then people will see that you're live on your profile mm, and okay. we'll come to see that. Okay. Um, of course, keep your, keep, keep the variety, you know, keep the variety within your content. I've actually kind of stalked your page. Um, Oh, thanks man. I saw some of your improv shows there. It's, it's really cool to see. Um, cool. I was actually watching some improv shows before I came onto your live and I was like, I love comedy. I love seeing people like just like, I don't know. It's the, there's just something about comedians and comedy that's enthralling, I guess. That's cool. Hold on. Uh, love meme uh, Libra. Uh, uh, she apparently also does stand up. I got a roaster because she donated and she was very nice. Thank you for that. Love me. I'm a Libra. Astrology queen, Libra sun, Scorpio moon, Cancer rising. You can't have all four. Come on. Come on. You gotta pick one. You gotta pick one. You can't have all four. It's like, what are you? Well, like, I'm a Pisces on Mondays, a Capricorn on Tuesdays, and Wednesday, I'm a unicorn. That's not even astrology, but here I am. No, you're not. I, I disagree. Anyway. Uh, it, reminds sorry. Me, it reminds me of that person last night, um, the psychology astrology major. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I called it. I was psychic on that live. It was crazy. I was like, guys, you. guys, thank you for the gifts. I genuinely appreciate it. You guys are fantastic. Yeah. I love y'all. Thank you guys so much. This you guys is, are awesome. This is what it is to. This is what it is to do to do battle to do the, the virtual yes. battle via TikTok. That's fun. Cool. And and most generally, I would find someone you can do battles with because usually, if you want to battle someone, you'll get a lot of. I don't know how to say this. Um, a lot of like different country people from different countries will just try to battle you and they won't say nothing to you. They'll battle you for like three minutes and then they'll hop off. Yeah. But it's no, not really no. interactive. It just, it's just a, some people see it as a money ploy. Yeah. Some people see it as a fun thing. And of yeah, course well, you, we did it, we did it as a learning experience. <laughs> so I, I appreciate, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for all that. Stuff. There's no denying that there is a money aspect to it, and you can acknowledge that as a creator. It's okay to acknowledge that you get paid doing what you do. Yeah, like, well, honestly, these gifts pay you. And that's yeah. great. But yeah, making and I, and it interactive I, for your audience is great, too. As a, as a comedian, I'm going to tell everybody in, in here who's watching this. As a comedian, it's really, really cool to not only meet – like. You were you popped into my live yesterday, so this is the first time we're talking over videos. It's really nice to meet you. So you get to meet really cool people, but you as a content creator know as well. I love connecting with with all the people in, in the audience who are watching, and it's cool to, as a comedian specifically, you get donations based off of merit. Like people just like my face, they like my chest, or they think I'm funny. Either way, I get a donation, and I think that's that's really cool. I'm really, really – I think that's yeah. awesome. So. And something I really admire about your content is um... – when you're roasting people, you do give those lighthearted roasts. You do roast the fuck out of them. And yeah. then you're like, hey, I really appreciate that. I love the affirmative afterwards and being like, thank yeah. you for popping in. Um, Aftercare is important. The real ones know. It gives a double edge for each, for each, like, I don't know. I, I, th I think that's really, really cool. Thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> I, I, well, hey, it lets me know that my head's in the right, uh, right place. But um, anyway, 
I, I don't want to, I want to make sure that I'm honoring what I say on the whiteboard. So I do want to go yeah, so yeah. I can get back to, to, to roasting the F out of these guys. But I, thanks for, thanks for, this is my first battle, bro. When you were here, you saw it from the ground floor. So I appreciate you. I did not a problem. I'll, I'll probably try, I'll, I'll probably make a video on you low key. I'll probably be like, Hey, go guys, go check this guy out. Oh, thanks uh, man. I, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Send it to me. If, if you do, I'll send some people your way as well. If you do that. I'll hop on your live another time and we could do another battle. I'll be back for your ass. I'm on your ass. All right. Next time. Next time. It's not going to be a teaching experience. It's going to be the heat of battle yeah. on the field. It'll be good. Okay, Wolverine. Your chest ain't going to do much for my next my next time. Hey, well, you know, at least you shouldn't have killed my father who was also a Wolverine and put him on your head. So, all right. I'll see you. I'll see you. I'll see you later, bro. Thanks, Thanks man. man. Right. That was fun, huh? Huh? Do you think we'd have guests on this show? I didn't. I don't know what I'm doing. This is my sixth day of going live, but we're back. And yes, to everyone, never win without me. You're exactly right, Jeff. Thank you for all the donations. I have to keep my reputation strong within the TikTok community. Tennyson thinks this was a learning experience. It wasn't. It was my reputation it was on the line and I won. And that's, no, I have no idea what I'm doing. But Jeff, Mass Goblin, I do appreciate it. Now, Back to the roast. Here we go. We're going to do this for another like half hour, 45 minutes. Let me up and I'll show you how to do this. <laughs> oh, hold on. What do we got? Oh, I appreciate all the... Thank you. Love me. I'm a Libra. That's very kind. That's very kind. Uh, I hope that your astrology calendar smiles upon you as I have. That would be nice. That would be real nice. All right. Hey, I need your help. Mm. Making OCS and drawing is my passion. Kitty Pearls May. Hey, is what's your sister named June? What's your brother named August? <laughs> who names their children calendar months? Who does that? Who looks at Google? Who, who like has this beautiful baby girl or baby boy and then says, ha, huh, what can we name him? Let me check my Google calendar. Who does that? They did it for you, May. They did it for you. Uh, good luck with your drawings, by the way. Let's see here. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Swordsman, that's funny. Did you hear about the kidnapping at school? It's okay. He woke up. That's a clever joke. I'll, I'll rate that. I'll rate that. Seven out of ten on, in dad humor. Let's go. Exactly. All right. Let's see here. Let's see here. Roast me. I'm ready. All right. Nicole writes books. Nicole writes books. Your name is spelled grammatically incorrect. Nicole. No, I don't know. All right. Here we go. Fantasy, self-pub, author, self-published author, that's cool. WIP, Christian fiction, artist. I do not know what WIP stands for and that bothers me. Does that mean white introverted person like you, Nicole, who writes books? Is that what that means? I bet you it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> Nicole, Nicole. Uh, self-published author, that's really cool. That's really cool. I hope your Amazon sales are going well. I'm just assuming you did it on Amazon. If so, that's really, really cool. Uh, you do Christian fiction. Ah, that's interesting. That's interesting. She's an artist and an artist who doesn't understand the tab button on her phone nor on her keyboard because her bio is spaced out so very much when I see it. I can't tell if you hit the enter button. The way I'm looking at it, it looks like you just put lots of space in between. I hope you don't write that way. I hope that you understand how the tab button works when you actually write your books and best of luck, by the way. Best of luck on that. All right, my dog. I see you. I see you, my dog. I'm coming, my dog. Mud dog, where you at? Hold on, hold on. Mud dog, mud dog, mud dog. Mud dog. Bro, mud dog has got more testosterone than everybody else in this chat. And I want you to know that because his beard is white and it, it surrounds his whole face. Like some of us, we got a line, right? Not mud dog. Mud dog, mud dog has got beard coming out of his cheeks, bro. What do you know about that? What do you know about having a beard coming out of your cheeks? Mud Dog knows, and you know how else I know that he has the most testosterone out of everybody else in this comment section? It's because he has 69 on the end of his name. It's not just Mud Dog, guys. It's Mud Dog 69. That is the most straight possible thing you could write <laughs> in your name. It's like, what's my name? Parker Dean. It's actually Parker Dean 69. Now you know what I'm about, and I know what you're about down, Mud Dog. Thanks for the donation, bro. Thanks for the donation. Mm-hmm. Want to hear a joke about construction? Sorry, I'm still working on it. Swordsman, I like you. You're coming in hot with the dad jokes. That makes me laugh. Awesome. Awesome. I'll rate that. Eight out of ten. Have had that. All right, guys. All right. All right. All right. Let's see here. Work in progress. I bet you you are. All right. Let's see here. Arthur, the third. All right. I'm, I got you, Arthur. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
Let's see here. Oh, thanks for following me, Nicole. I appreciate you. Arthur the third of his name. What do we got, Arthur the third of his name? A passionate Celtic gentleman exploring life and love through poetry. Six, seven. You know this is not a dating profile, right, Arthur? Like, surely you know that. Surely you know this is TikTok and not Tinder. Surely you know that. This guy, right, maybe I'm just jealous because he's literally a foot taller than me. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I'm going in on you, Arthur. Maybe that's why. I'll own that. But at the same time, bro, you can't swipe right on TikTok. You can only scroll up and down. This is basic swiping mechanics, all right? You can only go up and down on the For You page. You can't go right and left. I would encourage you to take this and move it to Hinge and or Tinder. And then maybe a young lady will be interested, or a young man, I don't know what you're into, might be interested in your poetry. So best of luck with that poetry. Good luck with the Celtic haikus, my friend. Good luck with the Celtic haikus. Oh, definitely read his eulogy. And I'll show you how this is done. I don't even know what that means, but thank you. Uh, what did Mud Dog say? That a hillbilly thing. Plus my wife add the 69 to my nickname. You guys are a fun couple. You definitely go to go to clubs and, and hit on people together, don't you? Don't you, Mud Dog? You dirty Mud Dog, you. You dirty 69 Mud Dog, you. This is getting really inappropriate for TikTok. I'm going to reel it back a little bit. Mm. Oh, oh, I appreciate it, Arthur. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm good at the moment, man. I'm good at the moment. Uh, I'm, I'm still figuring it out, but we're having fun. We're having fun. You won't roast me. Oh, I will, Emily. I will. I will roast you and the, the, the ugly dog that's your profile. I will face reveal at 1,000, and I'm 13. Why would you, as a... As a 13-year-old, do you just go around tempting live creators in prison? Like, I can't roast a 13-year-old. I can't do that. Like, can you imagine what that would be like in the court? Like, Mr. Dean, so it says here that you shit-talked a 13-year-old. Why did you do that? Judge, you don't understand. It was TikTok. I had no idea it was a 13-year-old. But the 13-year-old had a dog in his profile pic. Surely you know only 13-year-olds have dogs in their bio pic. I had no idea, Judge. I had no idea. Nice try, Emily. Nice try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, instant court case. Exactly, Tennyson. Tennyson gets it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Demons of TikTok wants me to roast them. 21 plus only. Um, all right, see, this is this is appropriate age for roasting. 21 and up only. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you're legal, like, I'll go in. But, like, come on. Like, a middle schooler? Get out. Get out of town. I can't do that. All right, demons of TikTok. 1299 followers, 3009 following, 21 and up only. Hashtag rage core artist, hashtag use it, hashtag thirst traps, hashtag characters, hashtag expression, hashtag is this a bot profile? What is this? What are we doing? Why, why are the hashtags? You know, like people, when they type in hashtags and they follow hashtags, that typing that in in your bio does not mean you're going to pop up. Surely you know that, demons of TikTok. Demons of TikTok, surely you know that. Surely, in all, in, in the Finding out that your content is only for 21 and up, you should know how a bio works. But that's all right. That's all right. We're good. By the way, guys, if you're like, why isn't he roasting me? It's because I do the, the people who donate first. So if, if someone sends me a rose or something, sends me you know a couple cents here and there to help me keep my lights on and do the, the my open mic nights that I have to pay for and stuff as a comedian, I, I usually will roast those people first. Otherwise, it's just whoever I see immediately in my comment section, like Pilot Escorts. That is the scariest name I've ever seen on TikTok. Pilot escorts. Let me ask you a question. Uh, hey, sir. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you at this professional business networking event. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a pilot escort. You're a what? <laughs> I'm a pilot escort. I just, you know, when the pilots are up in the sky, I escort them to their destination. <laughs> what is it? Just showing people what pilot escorting is. I don't even know what that is, but wow, I'm scared. And also you have your cash app in the bio. Part of me thinks that I've stumbled into some sort of money laundering scheme here and I'm uncomfortable, so I'm going to leave. All right, next. Mmm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Love me, I'm a Libra. So did, did we decide that you're a Libra, finally? Did we decide? Because in your bio, I still see astrology queen, Libra sun, Scorpio moon, Cancer rising. Can it just be like, I'm a Libra, love me? Love me, I'm a Libra. Couldn't it just be that? I think you should write a song called Love Me, I'm a Libra. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jeff W, w loves animals. Jeff W S animals. Does Jeff have a? What is Jeff? Jeff man became allergic to hair and dander, so got fish and reptiles for pets. That sounds like if a robot was describing a day in the life of the most boring man on a most boring Tuesday ever, Jeff. <laughs> 
And I hate to say that after you followed me because I feel like that's going to make you unfollow me. But at the same time, I don't know. I like to I look at your profile picture and you just look happy. You're just like, ha, ah, TikTok is a cool place. Look at my reptiles. That's what you look like with me, Jeff. That's what you look like to me. Mm-hmm. Was that a roast? Did that mean a question? Here's the thing, love me, I'm a Libra. I already went in on your, your bio, and you already gave me a multitude of donations. I don't know if I'm supposed to go in and do it again or not, but you, you keep egging me on, so fine. I didn't even talk about your profile picture. What are you crying? Emeralds, what is this in your profile picture? Why do you have green diamonds under your eyes? Are you, a, are you a one of Jeff's reptilians that I mentioned earlier? What is going on with this? I can't even tell. Astrology queen, Libra sun, Scorpio moon, cancer rising, emerald eyes. That's what I'm, and that's just a compliment. See, I tried to roast and then I ended up saying your eyes look nice. So that's, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> Love me, I'm a Libra. This is the problem by asking donations on TikTok. You guys donate and donate and donate. And then like, I just want to be nice to you because you're nice to me. So this is where we're at. And this is where we're at. That's fine. That's fine. Moving along. I'm down with reptilians though. All right. Yeah. KKB. 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 Is this Kelly Kibby? Kelly Kibby. I know Kelly Kibby. Kelly, it's good to see you. Thank you for sending me a donation. Kelly was the uh, piano player, and I believe you were the music director in one of those shows that I did in, at the Evansville Civic Theater, which was fun. I hope you're doing well, and I hope your boys are really, really are doing well as well, Kelly. It's great to see you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Someone else sent me a donation, and I'm trying to find who it was. Who sent a gift? Someone sent me a gift. Oh, no, I invited them on accident. Now they're actually going to come on here. Uh, D, D sent me a gift. 11 followers, 29 following. Snapchat. Dude, you can't have a sales funnel on your TikTok profile that leads them to another platform when you only have 11 followers. Like, that's just not going to work. It's like, hey, you like, you like what you see? You like all this content that no one's watching? Well, guess where there is also content that no one is watching? Snapchat. Come chat with me via Snap. That's, that's what I feel like when I read your profile. Uh, Macy, Macy, Macy. I see you, Macy. Follow the truck. <laughs> Follow. Hey, Lonnie, what's up? What's up? I got you, Lonnie. I'll, I'll get to you in one minute. Let's see here. Macy, although you do seem like a sweet person, I'm sure your truck runs very, very well. You do not understand cropping on a profile picture. And I don't understand that. That's, you're, you're, you're embarrassing the whites, Macy. Like us whites, we generally are known as for, for our artistic ability and being able to crop pictures. Yet now here we are with you, Macy, with, with half of your face outside of an uncropped picture. I don't, I don't understand what we're doing. I hope that your truck runs well. All right, moving along. Lani, 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 Lani. Thanks for the roses, Lani. Much appreciated. Let's see. Let's see what you're looking at, Lani. Wow. The bottom half of Lani's profile picture is nothing but beard. No wonder his name is Fluffy Sailor. Taken by, by my amazing wife, a boy, two girls, and four angel babies. Uh, do you need to start by saying you're taken? Do you really have women clawing to get at your TikTok profile? Is that what's happening? Do they see that Carhartt beanie and they're just like, wow, he can keep me warm in the wintertime? Is that why? Is that why you start with taken by a beautiful wife? I'm ha or by an amazing wife. I'm happy your wife is amazing, but I kind of feel like, come on, bro. How can you have a beard that big yet your wife is the one who makes your bio? We all know what's happening here. We all know what's happening. The wife wrote that 100%. Uh, moving along. Thank you for the donation, guys. You guys are awesome. Mm -hmm. It's his cry for help. <laughs> Love me, I'm a Libra. You can't be roasting people in here now. Who's the comedian? Let's go. You're, I thought Libras were nice. I don't know anything about astrology. Best comedian I need this. Oh, thanks, Macy. That's really, really kind. If you like my content, I post my stand-up clips on my uh, bio. Or it, <laughs> I post my stand-up clips only in my bio. No videos. It just says stand-up clips in my profile. No. I post videos of my stand-up clips if you want to check it out on my profile. Thanks for following, by the way. All right, Paige. TikTok, I'm 20. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay. Hmm. Uh, Oh, wow, guys, that's crazy. It looks like Paige was getting arrested by the police when she took her profile picture, which is why half of her profile picture is blue and the other half is red. You know, usually people would take a, a picture in good lighting, you know, where like the sun's hitting their face during golden hour, but not Paige. Paige is an artist. Paige is an artist who gets arrested and then posted up for all of us to see. Paige Marco. <laughs> is your name really Paige Marco? Because if it's really Paige Marco, that literally means most of your name would be what turning a page in a book is like. And I'm uncomfortable with that. I don't like that. It's too on the nose. It's too on the nose. I'm crippled. Roast me. I'm going to regret this. 
How are you crippled? You're standing up in your profile picture. That makes no sense, Josh. That that one Josh guy, that one joshing man. What? How are? <laughs> should I even ask? Is that even appropriate to ask how a man is crippled via TikTok? I don't think that's appropriate, so I won't do it. I'll instead just say, I hope based upon uh, what I'm observing in your profile picture, I hope you and all of the friends that you have that play Dungeons and Dragons are very happy. Next! Uh, <laughs> let's see here. All right, Zoe Walkie, what do we got here? Mom of two, cancer, uh, cash app, then the, the cash app. See, love me, I'm a Libra. This is a person who understands astrology. They just got one. They didn't make it complicated. They didn't talk about the moon. They didn't talk about the stars. They didn't talk about the ether or, or the aesthetic or whatever happens in astrology. Zoe Walkie gets it. She just goes, cancer. I'm a cancer. I know my deal. I'm cocky. I'm a cancer. Is that what cancers are? I have no idea. I don't understand astrology. What do we got here? Ah, looking at your profile picture, we have the most palest vampire in all of TikTok. That's interesting. Zoe, <laughs> Zoe Walkie, more like Zoe don't walkie out into the sun. You will burn. All right. Uh, next. <laughs> I hope that I, I I hope that you don't take out my roasting on your children. I'm sure they're very nice. Next, all right, Cash. Thank you, thank you for the donation. I always do the donations first, guys. If you're just now joining us, Cash. Ah, Cash has decided to post a thirst trap, which is very interesting, considering they look. I can't tell if you're in a pool or not, Cash. Cash is in a a bikini. It looks like Cash is in in a bikini. But here's the thing, Cash. If you're going to try to thirst trap me via TikTok profile picture, you should have something in your bio that also would like thirst trap me. Like for example, you could say, just looking at you, you look like you bake really, really good food. You just look like you're a baker. Like I feel like if I needed my birthday taken care of, I could count on cash to make me a German cup chocolate cake. And if you wrote that in your bio, cash, you'd have me. I the thirst trap successful. I, I would have been thirst trapped yet. Here we are. Oh, what do we got? Whoa, there's a train. I didn't even know you could do that. All right, what do we got here? All right, live train, live train. All right, let's see here. Dragonfly, Dragonfly 611. Oh, Dragonfly's playing the violin. That's really interesting. That's crazy. Do you, <laughs> I'm actually impressed. All right, let's see here. I gotta, I gotta go in. You guys are getting a full view of the hairline. You gotta love it, you gotta love it. I just need to make sure I see your profile. This is why I need an iPad, guys. This is why I need these donations. So I can buy an iPad so that the profiles are bigger. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right here we go. Uh, dragonfly, <laughs> dragonfly who who plays the violin six one one with no bio. So all I have to go off of, guys, here is a what appears to be a girl playing the violin. And um, why why the violin? Like, can't you play a normal instrument like the piano? Like, I bet you, dragonfly six one one, you're the you're the artist who always brings that violin to birthday parties, aren't you? You bring it around with you, and, and at every possible moment, you're like, oh, guys, do you want to see my violin? And all your friends are like, no. No, we've heard it for years. We've heard you play the violin, yet you insist upon playing the violin at every waking moment of these parties. And you're like, no, but I play the violin. And they're like, go play at Carnegie Hall. We don't want to see it here. That's what I feel like about you, Dragonfly. Thank you for the train, by the way. I didn't know you could do that. Train, train. All right. Mm. Boom, ba boom, boom. What else, what else, what else? Oh, Rich! Rich, more like poor. He has no shirt on. All right, <laughs> what do we got here? Oh, does he have a shirt on? Wow, I just roasted myself. Here's the thing though. I don't think this is a roast of myself and here's why I will say that. Rich, you're so pale, I couldn't tell that a white shirt was on your body. That's why. So when it comes to the TikTok profile roast, you guys gotta understand, I'm just going. I'm, 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 I'm jamming out here. So when I see a man who's so pale and white who wears camo, pants. So it's like, I can't even see the bottom half of your body because you're invisible. Congratulations, camo successful. I'm going to think that your shirt is a part of your body. So what I'd recommend is stay out in the sun and take the shirt off. That way you can tan. That way people can tell the difference between a sleeveless, a sleeveless shirt and your, your, your body. All right, next. What do we got? Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Thank you for call out. <laughs> you're welcome, dragonfly. Uh, I have, uh, honestly, I think the violin's a beautiful instrument. I just want it's on my list, right? I play piano, I play a little bit of guitar, a little bit of ukulele, a little bit of harmonica myself. Uh, I'm an artist, so I like music and stuff, right? But I, man, violin's on my list, violin's on my list. Me, roast me. All right, Abby, the attention getter. Let's see what you got here. 
Roast me. Are you giving a thumbs up in your profile picture like as to let us know you're okay? What is happening in this? I gotta, gotta zoom in with my eyes here, everybody. Oh no, it's a peace sign. It's a peace sign. It's a peace sign. Don't worry, guys. Abby never threatens violence. Not, not one time, no matter where she goes, are people ever concerned Like, because all she does is throw up peace signs. You know, I feel like the peace sign in the profile pics is the universal signal for I'm not like other girls. That's what I feel like, Abby. That's what I feel like. Oh, if you guys are like, why isn't he roasting me? It was like, <laughs> sorry, I'm just seeing people who are, who are, who are roasting me via comments. Like a uh, username, uh, binary code. I have no idea what this is. Uh, Ninja Biscuit. Thank you. I'll get to you in one minute. You play a lot of musical instruments. Maybe try women next. Ah, well, hey, next time you make a TikTok profile and you have your mouth open, maybe you should learn how to treat women well instead of playing them as if it were a violin. I feel like a guy with their mouth open is exactly the type of guy that women don't want to talk to. Like, can you imagine a guy approaches you in like a coffee shop and he's just like, hi, you're like, ooh, can I get my frappuccino and get out of here? All right, uh, Ninja Biscuit. Where are you at, Ninja Biscuit? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mela Kamiki Maka. That's not your name, but I'll get to you in a minute. You know exactly who you are, too. Ninja Biscuit. Ninja Biscuit. More like Ninja missed it with trying to get a good profile picture. My God. You look like you're disappointed in me. Who would take a profile picture from this angle with the glasses down? Like, young man, you did not return your library book on time. I'm disappointed in you. That's what I see from you, Ninja Biscuit. All right, Melikamiki Maka, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Your name is not Melikamiki Maka. Your name is, in fact, <laughs> if I can pull it up here. Your name is, in fact, Malikai. Malachi. It's probably Malachi. I'll go with Malachi. Uh, oh, what do I have to say about you, Malachi? You have no bio. You have no bio, so there's not much for me to go off of. I already kind of made fun of your name singing the, the classic Christmas song, Melikamiki Maka. Uh, but let's see what I can do. Let's see what I can do here. <laughs> bro, did you tan with your sunglasses on? You got that raccoon, that reverse raccoon, bro. You got the reverse raccoon tan lines on your face. On your face. I get not wanting to stare into the sun and taking safety seriously, but at what cost? Malachi, at what cost? Sar, I see you. Sar sent me a sneaky gnome, I believe. Let's see here. What did Sar send me? Sar sent me something. Toast me, she says. I'm trying my best. Now, yeah, clearly uh, your tongue is as well out of your mouth in your profile picture. Your tongue wanted to be, you wanted to hide your tongue, but your tongue wanted to be free and it's also trying its best. It's like, no, 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 my tongue needs to be seen by the people. And you tried to negotiate with your tongue. You're like, no, stay, stay in your mouth. That's not what normal people do. Normal people, when they take a profile picture, they just smile, you know, they're just posing up. They got, you know, they, they got the reverse raccoon as we've discovered with Malachi. That's what some normal people do, but not you, Sar. You're not like other girls. No, in fact, you your your tongue your tongue has a mind of its own, and I I appreciate that about you. I appreciate that. Some people's tongues are boring. Yours is not. Next, <laughs> sneaky gnome. I like that. Uh, all right, did I hit all the donations? I think I did. Time to go back to the comment section. Let's see here. I love you, bro. Thanks, Jonah. Much appreciated. Let's see here. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Me, Bo. Catch me outside. <laughs> Bo, you, I could roast you, but clearly the interior design of your house that's in your profile picture already has. Like, I, I can't tell if this is a home or if this is like an Airbnb that no one has rented. All right, next. That was fun. Uh, oh, I have a dog named Potato Haven, Brock. You do? You do? Well, no one cares. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Maybe your dog is very lovely. Animals, animals, and animals. Well, now that I click on your profile file picture, I, I I feel a little bad. You clearly look like you're you're still in school, so I'm gonna move I'm gonna move along. All these thirteen year olds are trying to send me to prison via roast. I don't understand. All right, Jaden, what do we got here? What do we got? Thanks for the donation, Jaden. I'm from Indiana originally. I see in your profile that you wrote you you live in Indiana. Leo, worry about yourself. Twenty three. Uh, I don't know what part of Indiana you're from. I'm from Indianapolis originally. And my roast for you, Jaden, is why the F are you still there? Move somewhere warmer like I did. Now I'm out in California and I'm living my best life as a comedian. But not you, Jaden. You, you Jaden, you, you just wanted to live amongst the, the, the corn people. Just, that's what you wanted to do. The corn people tried to get me, Jaden, but I said no. Worry about, your, worry about yourself. See, worry about yourself is the kind of thing that someone says when they themselves start drama at work in the office. 
Worry about yourself is the kind of thing someone says when they intentionally say passive aggressive things via email, like as per my last request. So I, I feel like that's you, Jaden. I feel like that's what you do. You start drama and then when people try to call you on, you're like, yeah, worry about yourself. And they're like, no, but I need to worry about what you're doing. Hmm. All right. Yeah, guys, if you donate, by the way, I you jump to the top of the list. Otherwise, I'm just hitting the hitting the comment section and going ham. Going ham. All right. Ah, angelic. A angelic. Let's see. More like devilish. No, I, I don't know. I haven't clicked on your profile yet. Maybe you are, in fact, quite angelic. Maybe. Maybe not. All right, angelic. What do we got here? What do we got here? Angelic. Angelic the doll. See, while some people finish their names and would say Angelica, not you. you you've, you've chosen, if this is your given name, it's, this is where I'm a little confused, Angelic, because Angelic could have been Angelica, and as a nickname, it could have also been Angel. So for some reason, you've decided to compromise both with your name and your dignity and go with Angelic, and I don't understand that. Although you do have cross emojis by your name, so maybe that's your religion, I can't tell. Either way, uh, if you are so angelic, I would suggest giving us a little smile in your profile picture instead of mad-dogging me this entire time. <laughs> I'm scared, so I'm, I'm leaving and moving on to the next roast. Ta-ta today, Junior. Ta-ta to you. Uh, I'm a Libra. We'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? What else? Nat said please. And I'm assuming that means please roast me. Nat Saturn. Nat's trippy, trippy world. Anybody who says that their world is trippy just means that they're bored and they do mushrooms. And to be honest with you, I know saying that out loud might kick me off of TikTok. I know that, but I'm comfortable with that because what Nat has forced me to do without writing anything in her bio at all, <laughs> um, except the fact that her phone takes up the grand majority of space in her profile picture. Why? Can I ask you guys, why does someone take a profile picture like this? Like, hey, I got the kick-ass phone. I know you don't. I don't. I know you don't see my beautiful face, but look, it's a kick-ass phone. And the back of this kick-ass phone is what I want people to know about me. That's what I feel like. Uh, okay, moving along. Hello from South Bend. Hell, hey, what's up? What's up, Jaden? Yeah, South Bend, Indiana. Notre Dame, Fighting Irish. I see the clover. That's cool. That's cool. You guys got the dunes up there. People don't know that Indiana has dunes. Indiana has dunes. We have beaches. They're boring beaches, but beaches all the same. All right, just a gamer dad, just a normal dude, X, Zyrus X. I, man, I feel like X, Zyrus X. I feel like that is you as a gamer dad cosplaying as an as an anime character on TikTok, which if that's the case, why do you look like you just eat white bread for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? This is the most boring, yeah, like this guy, Looks like, I mean, you got a good jawline, bro. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But at the same time, you just look like, this looks vanilla, man. This looks vanilla. What ice cream do you like to eat? Vanilla. What do you, what type of sandwich do you like to eat? Peanut butter and jelly. What's your favorite breakfast? Rice Krispies. I feel like it's just bland across the board. That's what I feel like. Exirus X. But anyway, just a gamer dad. I hope that your, I hope that your games are going well. I hope your games are going well. All right. Jay roast me. It's me, your long lost sister. No, it's not Nicholas. That makes no sense. I don't have a sister named Nicholas. All right, Jay, clinic es escort, uh, pro-choice advocate, they will not stop at Roe v. Wade. Uh, pro-choice, pro-choice Jay. It's weird when people make one cause their entire TikTok. But then again, if you're advocating on your TikTok for your cause, I can understand that. But at the same time, Jay, I feel like you got more going on, bro. You got a kick-ass beard. You got a good beard going on. You got some sunglasses. Like, I'm a little worried. Like, are you a, are you going to be like my bodyguard or you're also going to beat me up outside of a bar because I don't show you my ID in time? Like, there's a lot of questions here, Jay. But at the same time, uh, why is all humor cruel? <laughs> Aaron Nautical, playwright, his him. His him. Uh, 6,500 followers, Aaron Nautical. Humor doesn't have to be cruel, man, but this is what I do on my TikTok every day. 11 p.m., I go live. And uh, I know it's like, what? It's not 11 p.m. Uh, it's not because I'm going to my friend's birthday tonight. And you might be like, Parker, how are you going to a birthday? Clearly, you were dressed for a funeral. No, I'm not. The birthday is emo theme. So how about that? How about that? Moving along, moving along. Mm-hmm. Oh, what else do we got? I'm you, <laughs> Allison Downer. Are you me? I. Wow. You are me. That's crazy. Wow. Bro, you got to follow me. Follow me and I'll click on your profile. Someone balded me and put me. That's incredible. I've never seen, I, I feel 
complimented. I feel violated. Like it's so many mixed emotions that I have at the same time. That's incredible. I've been balded and put on someone else's TikTok profile. That's incredible. X Iris X, thanks for sharing my live. I appreciate it. And thanks for all the follows, guys. I appreciate all the follows. Dad, ah, uh, man. I, I, <laughs> I, God, I'm not going to be able to take the rest of this live seriously. I can't believe someone actually did that. That's incredible. That's, that's literally incredible. <laughs> is it dad? Yeah, yeah, yes, son. You've gone bald before me, even though your, your father is going bald prematurely. That's nice. Roast me, graceful historian. Studies the Atlantic world. Cash app, curious... Are you looking to like for a for a patron to, to sponsor your 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 trips via YouTube to explore the Atlantic? What does that even mean? Studies the Atlantic world. Studies the Atlantic world. I feel like what this means is ancient aliens. That's what I feel like this means. I feel like this is a like I feel like if I were to click on this GoFundMe link, it would say fund my expedition to go scuba dive Atlantis off the coast of Costa Rica. And we'd be like Atlantis is not there. Clearly, it's in Africa with all of the triple spires that I myself saw on ancient aliens. But graceful historian would be like, no, 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 you don't understand. I know where the real Atlantis is. Send me my cash app, and I'd be like, no, I can't. I can't do that. I can't do that. I'm your sister, don't ignore me. All right, hold on. Things are getting weird. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> this is probably one person that's done this, but this one person, I, I love you so very much, and I really do hope you follow me with that profile picture because I want to go peruse your profile to see what the F is going on. But someone put a female filter, and now they're my sister. And that makes me really happy. That makes me really happy. <laughs> What the hell is going on? They said it would get weird when I started to go live on TikTok and doing gross. That's what they said. I didn't expect that my AI doppelganger with a bald filter and a female filter would be on. That's what I didn't expect. Yet, here we are. And I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Roast me, Faith says. She's 20 from Alvarado, Texas and has a Bible verse and has a 112323. And Faith. Faith. And her... <laughs> And her username is I love my sexy boyfriend. That's sweet, which coincides with why you have the date. Here's my question. Do you not value, do you, do you hold so little value in your TikTok profile where you change your TikTok username to I love my sexy boyfriend, even though you've only been dating since November of last year? I feel like you've got to date for at least a year before you go I love my sexy girlfriend or I love my sexy boyfriend. Either either you're you're young and in love, faith, or or you're uh, or I don't I, there's not much hope for you. I don't have much to say on it otherwise. But uh, I I hope to myself have faith in your relationship in Alvarado, Texas. Best of luck. All right, positive Pat. <laughs> oh, look at the dogs. Yeah, I'm gonna derail this entire live to just look at your dogs. That's so sweet. Nah. Uh, you ever just like having a bad day and then a good boy just, just seeing a good boy just makes you happy inside? That's where I am at right now. That's cool. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. What am I, how am I supposed to roast these beautiful boys? Positive. Positive. Well, I guess I could roast the fact that it's the cheesiest pun you could have ever possibly chosen, that you could ever pause uh, another pun ably chosen for, for a dog TikTok account. Positive pack. Positive pack. Uh, I could just do the old joke. I'll just say it. I bet you a person who calls their, their dog pack the positive pack also has a, a real, real strong inclination towards putting live, laugh, love posters all over their apartment. Most basic white girl thing ever. But hey, I hope your, your pack remains positive and I, uh, I hope that, your, your, <laughs> I hope that your, your doggies remain happy. That's very sweet. Oh, uh, let's see here. All right, Parker, roast me, please. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. LMAO, thank you. You're welcome. Positive pack, Nashville. Mm. All right, we'll do Kimberly and, and Kara. We'll start with Kara because I saw her first. Kara, Instagram Kara. Kara, how can you have a sales funnel? I said this earlier. How can you have a sales funnel on your TikTok? Like, hey, if you like what you're seeing on TikTok, come check out my Instagram, but you only have 511 followers. Like what? <laughs> Why, Kara? You don't have to do that. I'm, it's Maybe it's Kara, maybe it's Kara. I don't know. At the same time... I just wish that your name was, was easier to see. Like Cara, Cara, Cara Wilson, more like Cara will get a better profile picture and bio for her TikTok. Uh, best of luck. Best of luck with that, Cara W. I hope you get some followers to your Instagram, and I hope that that insane following to followers ratio of 2,700 people you're following, of which only 511 follow you back, I, I, I hope one day they, they do follow you back. All right, let's see here. Kimberly Smith, 30 
MS, Southern mom, uh, Mama, kind of dorky. Do I just say what I've said before where it's like, is this a dating profile or is this a TikTok bio? Let's play this game. Let's play a game. Is it a Tinder profile or is it a TikTok profile? I don't know. And neither does Kimberly, apparently. <laughs> I guess you gotta, I, I like kind of dorky. And the reason I like kind of dorky is because your, your face and your profile picture, you look dead serious. Like you, if, if I was in detention and I showed up and you were in the room, I'd be like, ah, oh, shit, Kimberly's here. Kimberly doesn't talk. She's very introverted. And all she does is just stare at me very seriously as if she's known I've done something wrong. But hey, then again, now that I know she's kind of dorky. All right, maybe we'll get along. Maybe we'll get along. Ah, Claire. I see you, Claire. Claire, <laughs> Claire, Clarissa. Wow, that is the most white Caucasian spelling of Clarissa I've ever seen in my life. Clar <laughs> Not, don't worry guys, not Clarissa, it's Clarissa, because Claire is not enough and Clarissa is too normal, apparently. Clarissa Morris, more like Clarissa, <laughs> more better spelling of your name. Let's see here. Why would you not even make eye contact with, <laughs> you guys with your profile pictures. Like Clarissa, when she's look like she get you know, you get ready for the big profile picture that everybody's gonna see when they click on your profile. And, Cl and Clarissa's like, like you got distracted. You probably have ADD, Clarissa. You probably saw a squirrel when this profile picture was taken. I can see you like they snap the picture and you just go, squirrel. Hi there. And that's, that's what we get. All right, Sarah, I see you. I see you. I see you, Sarah. Let me get to you. All right. Sarah sent me a lightning bolt, Ohio 24. What do we got here? Sefi. I don't know what that means. Uh, wow. Your ears are pointy like an elf, Sarah. That's interesting. I've never met an elf from Ohio. That's wild. I didn't know they had elves out there. Like, I knew they had, like, boring white girls out in Ohio. I know I'm from Indiana, so, like, we're state neighbors, I think, if I'm doing my geography correctly. But, uh, yeah, Sarah, that's crazy that your ears, like, it's like elf ears. That's insane. Is this a, supposed to be a thirst trap? I feel like there's a pool behind you, and you're taking a picture in your bathing suit. But, hey, you're at least better than Clarissa because you at least made, you, you at least made, hold on, let's see here. You at least made an effort to look at the, you made an effort to look at the camera. So for that, I, I salute you. Uh, my only advice to you, Sarah, is move out of Ohio. Move somewhere warmer, kind of like I did in California. All right, Travis Bauer, I see you. I'm coming, Travis. Travis, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Nemo goes, bro is totally, is getting roasted and totally skipping it. Yeah, bro, like when I'm clicking on these profile pictures, it's a little hard for me to see the comments. Just kicking it in Wyoming. I talked to tennis and he's from Wyoming earlier. Don't judge people because they sin differently than you. And man, isn't that a way to justify your own bad choices? Like, I don't know, living it in Wyoming. Living in Wyoming and he's like, hey, I could move somewhere that has, you know, more people per capita than trees, but here I am. Here I am in the great state of Wyoming. Uh, oh, by the way, guys, thanks for all the likes. We're at 6.2 likes. That's the most I've ever had doing this. We're six days in, we're already having a lot of fun. Just kicking it in Wyoming. Don't judge people because they sin differently than you. Well, your sin, Travis, as we all know, is not being able to spell because. Instead, you just put cause. Just kicking it in Wyoming. Don't judge people because they sin differently than you. No, because they sin differently than you, Travis. Best of luck. Best of luck with your grammar. Mm -hmm. Don't hate when you hopped in a comedy live. Yo. <laughs> exactly, right? That's what I'm saying, man. It's all right. We're having fun, guys. You're always going to get haters in your comments, guys medium roast i got called an elf compliment medium roast more like medium profile you didn't give me anything to go off of sarah you gave me nothing you said where you're from and you said your age this is like this is i don't know if you guys know this from the male perspective on tinder when we're swiping this is as lazy as girls are on their dating profiles so you wanted me to go in sarah so i'm going in all these tinder profiles for beautiful women which if i'm looking at your profile picture sarah you are very attractive here's what you guys do you post two pictures and then you just write ohio 24 i'm like does this girl read does she like music like what's going on here? you've given me nothing to go off of sarah so instead i've just roasted all beautiful women which will probably all unfollow me so that's fun next what do we got <laughs> mm, let's see here Go ahead, roast me. I'm a psychic me. Oh, here we go. LOL. LOL. All right, I'm, I'm happy I made you laugh, Sarah. I'm happy I made you laugh. All right, psychic medium. Let's go. I'm about to get cursed in this live. The psychic wants me to roast her. I'm excited. I'm excited. We'll be doing this for another couple minutes, guys. And I'm hopping off, by the way. So if you have any last donations, you want me to uh, roast any of your last profiles, I will. 
So Leah Claire, psychic and medium, receive messages from spirit, angels, and guides. How are you going to be a psychic medium yet have a profile picture that looks like you're a LinkedIn realtor? That's my question, Leah Claire. You don't look like you're going to channel my grandma. You look like you're going to sell me a duplex. Like that's what this looks like. What are we doing? What are we doing? And then again, I like the white on white because it gives you that ethereal glow of like a psychic medium. If you have any predictions for me, let me know. I'll keep an eye out in the comment section. I'll keep an eye out in the comment section. Mm-hmm. Oh, thanks for the galaxy, Red Marie. Red Marie coming in with the galaxy. I appreciate you. <laughs> I also appreciate the fact that it appears that your cat is waving to me with its back leg. Jesus, your cat looks like it's out of shape. Can you exercise a cat? It's a hairless cat, right? I love hairless cats. My roommate doesn't want me to get, get a hairless cat. I want to get a hairless cat because I think they're cool and I like ancient Egypt and shit. But my roommate's like, we're not going to get a hairless cat. I don't want to pet a ball sack. That's his excuse. I don't want to pet a ball sack. I'm like, bro, it's a hairless cat. Do you want ancient Egyptian vibes in this apartment or not, bro? Red Marie with the cat waving with its back leg who sent me a galaxy. I think that you should take your cat to LA Fitness with you when you go. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. I, feel, I did feel like you had someone step forward from a car accident. <laughs> I'm not going to roast how – you'll be good in your next gig ready for the next. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Ilya Claire. And I will refrain from roasting the fact that you gave me a very generalized psychic prediction – I feel like you had someone step forward from a car accident. Yeah, it's like what? I mean, we've all had car accidents, right? And I did, I stepped forward from the more car accidents than I've been in than I'm proud of. I've stepped forward from those. <laughs> it felt like a fire. Yeah, no fires, no fires. I, luckily, it was just, you know, totaling my mom's car without, by not pressing my brakes too much at an intersection. That one's on me. I own that, mom. Sorry about the car. Hmm. What else? We'll do a couple more, guys, and I'm going to hop out of here, and i got to head to my friend's birthday. If you guys like this, by the way, give me a follow, turn on notifications. Homie does this every day at 11 p.m. Pacific time. I'm based out here in Hollywood, California. I'm a comedian. My name's Parker. Um, I know you're like, but Parker, I don't know if I have my time zones mixed up, but it's not 11 p.m., and that's because I'm going to a birthday party. All right, It's a funeral-themed birthday party, which is why I'm dressed like this. Mm, oh, th thanks, Positive Pack Nashville. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Mm, we got to hop him to a, a 10k. Yo, y'all are so positive. I appreciate that. Buys. Thanks, bro. I'm, I'm trying, man. Every time I do these lives, I get like 30 or 50 followers. So I'm enjoying this a lot. I hope you guys are too. And I like doing this as a comedian. It gives me a little bit of chance to riff, have fun, practice some jokes and stuff like that. And uh, eventually, guys, I'm going to be doing like live sketches where I, I, I show old sketches that I've written. I'll do that as like an intermission. I'm probably going to bring other comedian friends of mine on here to roast you guys. It'll be a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. My, my brother didn't tell me that his car had no brake fluid, so when I went to move it, oh, Jesus, misery lives. Misery lives. No no wonder it's misery lives. Your, your relationship with your brother is in misery. My God, why wouldn't he tell you he didn't have brake fluid? Jesus. Hope you're all right. Marlon, give us a quick joke. <laughs> Yo, man, it's great to see you. Well, not see you, but see you comment. Marlon's my best friend from high school, guys. This is years and years and years ago. Give us a quick joke before you hop off. Marlon, I think that's appropriate, and that's how we'll close it, guys. We'll close it. Roasts are done. What do I got? What do I got? Uh, let me get, get a, a quick joke. Let's see here. I'm looking back at my act. So uh, before you ask, yes, I was raised by lesbians. That is true. That is about me, and that is my origin story. Um, I'll paint you guys a little bit of a picture was, was raised by three women. They got, uh, two women, they got divorced, one got remarried. And then I was raised with a sister and a stepsister. So three moms, two sisters. Now I don't hate women. I do have a couple complaints. Um, y'all would be fucking irritated too. If you spent the amount of time I spent as a child in goddamn soap and candle stores, so many bed, bath and beyonds, so many coupons spent at the fucking soap store. So many Yankee candles smell, smelt. It's awful. It's awful. All right, that's my one joke. That's my one joke. It, I've never done stand-up before for a, a, a phone that I'm screaming at in my room. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed it. But uh, anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, Going to be a good one, I can tell. Yeah, yeah. I hope you guys liked it. But Marlon, great to see you, man. I got to hit you up. We got to catch up, bro. We got to catch up. But anyway. Anyway, 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 I love all of you. Thank you for all the donations. Dude, we got up to 8.1K likes. Let's go. 
If you want to follow me, like I said, I do this every day at 11 p.m. Pacific time. Turn on notifications so you can show up next time. And next time, if you guys donate, I might bring you on a video video chat like I did for, for one of my guys, Tennyson, earlier. And I'll, uh, we'll, we'll do some roasts live. So anyway, thanks so much, everyone. And I will see you next time.